Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today we are doing a one pan roasted chicken and vegetables. This is a super easy meal to do. You can change up your vegetables in it, kind of like I've done tonight, just because of what I can find at the store. You know, it's kind of fun. You know, we have sweet potatoes. You can do regular potatoes. You can do butternut squash. Uh, the recipe says cauliflower or broccoli. I have broccoli here. I did want to kind of show you the finished product that has cauliflower. Uh, I got carrots, I couldn't find parsnips, so I'm gonna show you guys how, how you would cut up a parsnip using a carrot. I got some radishes, so we're gonna throw some radishes in there. You can put zucchini and squash in this, you could do bell peppers in this. Uh, I got purple onion, you can do a white onion. You know, the, the versatility of this dish is endless, and you know, just you can tailor it to your liking pretty easily. Uh, I started peeling my sweet potato a little bit just so. We don't have to sit here and watch me peel a sweet potato the whole time. But all you just need to do is kind of peel it. And if you have a leftover newspaper from the day, if people still get those, you can put that over top of your where your cutting board is. Peel all of your, your vegetables on it. So you need to peel your sweet potato, peel your parsnips on top of that, and you can just wad it up and throw it away. And it saves you a little bit of time for cleanup. It's just kind of little, you can do the same thing with plastic wrap as well if you want, or you can just kind of pick up your peels and throw them all away. So we got our sweet tater just about done. And I'm gonna go ahead and peel my carrots. So the recipe calls for parsnips. I love parsnips because they kind of get like a little bit of a nutty flavor whenever, whenever you, you cook them. And they go great in this dish because it's kind of that one thing where it's like people see them in the store but they never really eat them but then once they try them they're like holy cow these are awesome they want to eat them more so that's why i like doing it in this dish but uh we'll just you just peel the parsnip just like a carrot so just gonna peel it and then once we're done peeling this we are ready to Clean up all of these peels here and we just throw them away. If you compost, these are great for your compost. Um, if you make your own homemade stock, the carrot peels would be great for a stock. I'm not sure about potato peels just because I haven't used them in there, but you could easily save your carrot peels in a Ziploc bag, throw them in the freezer, and we have enough to make your own stock. You can make your stock. So for the carrot, we're just going to Cut the ends of it off. Same thing with the parsnip, just cut the ends off. And then we're just gonna kinda of cut this into, you know, about inch, half inch pieces, depending on the thickness of your uh, vegetable. Now I got my cookie tray here lined with foil. So we're just going to kind of throw all of our vegetables onto that for now. Uh, with sweet potatoes, they can be a little difficult to work with, so I'll sometimes cut it in half just to make this a little more manageable to work with. And if you know you're cutting it and your knife gets stuck and you can't get through it, don't try to grip it. Just kind of take the palm of your hand, just kind of you know, hit your knife some to get through there. Or I've also had people where you know they get stuck, you can kind of, kind of bang your sweet potato a little bit to do that. Just be careful it doesn't fly everywhere. Uh, darn, I like sweet potatoes. Uh, luckily we have a little more. So we're just going to kind of cut the sweet potato into bite-sized pieces. So we'll, I'm not going to bang this one everywhere so it doesn't go flying. So we kind of you know, just got a piece of sweet potato like that. I'm just going to cut that in half and then you know, cut that into thirds to kind of get some bite-sized pieces out of it. Just put it right on our tray. Um, if you want, you can put everything in a, a big mixing bowl, but yeah, this will help save you some dishes because we're going to kind of mix up, mix up everything with olive oil and seasoning. And you can either do it in a big mixing bowl or you can do it right on, this, on the tray. I like doing the tray because it saves dishes. Uh, for our uh, onion here, we're going to cut both ends off. 
put it cut side down and cut through the onion and then just peel it and we'll do that for both sides of the onion and then we can just throw those pieces away and then we're going to cut a tic-tac-toe board out of it so we're going to cut it into thirds so just kind of do that and you don't want to cut your onion too too small because if you cut it up too small it will burn up in the roasting process and I'm not going to, don't worry about breaking up your onion pieces just kind of throw them on there uh, they'll they'll break up a little bit in the the mixing process whenever whenever we kind of toss everything with the oil and seasoning so we got that on there like I said I'm doing a couple rashes since I couldn't find parsnips I'm gonna do about five or six rashes here I got here I got five and I'll kind of cut the ends off those cut it in half and this kind of quarter each half so they're around the size of the sweet potato uh, if you've never cooked a, a radish before it's awesome uh, it kind of lose that, loses that peppery bite a little bit but still still nice and flavorful so we're just going to do these real quick Almost done with our radishes. And then we can move on to our broccoli or our cauliflower. Uh, they both cut up the same way, so it's pretty easy to do. We're just going to get rid of our radish pieces here. For the, the broccoli and the cauliflower, we're just going to kind of cut florets off of it. And you know, once once you get the the florets, just kind of throw them on there because if you come up too small, they will burn up. So we're just kind of leaving some bigger pieces. And you can kind of break some of them up by hand too. Uh, if you want, you can chop up, peel your uh, broccoli stem and chop that up as well. But we're not going to use that for this one. And then we're just going to finish up that that had broccoli as well and then for our tomatoes it's a really hard preparation I washed these before the video just going to pour those right on and then we'll, they'll kind of cook down burst a little bit in the, the cooking process it'll be great and for our chicken I'm just going to kind of clean up a little bit and kind of take kind of this top one here there's kind of like a little extra like white fat that's where the the wing connects to the chicken breast and then I'll just kind of cut some chicken fingers out of it give it a little turn and cut some chicken nuggies out of it and we can take that whole chicken breast put that right on top and we'll kind of break it up a little bit more as we toss everything with seasonings uh, we got some fat on this one we're just going to Cut that off, cut off the other fat on that side, and then again just kind of cut some strips out of this, give it a little turn, and get some chicken nuggets out of it, throw that on top of our tray here, so we will move that out of the way. Have a bowl tray right here. I like adding a little crushed red pepper flake to mine. You don't have to do that. I just like a little bit of spice. Uh, our Italian seasoning. Uh, what's also fun here is you can do a bunch of different seasonings on this. You could do ranch powder. You could do Cajun seasoning. You can make up your own spice blend on it. This is a little garlic powder. A little salt. Black pepper and then my olive oil. And now we're just going to take all this, 
toss it all together. Kind of break up the chicken, kind of rub all the veggies around. Get that seasoning, you know, mixed up. And then once you get, kind of, once you feel like you got everything mixed up really well, kind of smooth it all out. It's like one thin layer of stuff. So that way it all cooks a little more evenly. Then you can take your gloves off or wash your hands. <coughs> and if you want, you can add just a little, a little touch more seasoning just to, yeah, get a little more. I like a little extra garlic salt. You don't have to do this, I just like a little, a little extra. And that is ready to go in the oven. Uh, I got my oven preheated to 400 and it cooks about 20, 25 minutes. You know, just kind of want to make sure your chicken's done. And through the magic of Facebook, we got a whole, whole tray right here. Like I said, I did cauliflower on this one instead of broccoli. And I didn't lose half my sweet potato on the floor, cutting it up. And you kind of see how, you know, your broccoli or your cauliflower gets a little charred, your broccoli will too. You know, your onions kind of cook down a little bit. Your tomatoes burst some. I can't wait to eat this. This is, uh, I do this quite a bit on weeknights because, you know, it's, you get a whole bunch of veggies. Uh, you get some nice lean protein from the chicken, and you change up, you know, your seasonings and your veggies, so that way it doesn't get boring. Uh, I hope you give, you guys give this one a try. Uh, I can't wait to have this for dinner myself because it smells great. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.